Yo, what's up? So some of you guys were having issues updating the RAC C800 board or just needed help on how to update it in general. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. Let's get to it. Okay, so the things you're going to need for you to do this update is obviously your Phillips head screwdriver so you can take apart your B1 PC, a pair of tweezers or um, pliers. You know, make sure they're pointy. A paper clip will also work for this because you're going to need this so you can boot the device into the update mode. And, you know, obviously the cable and the PC so you can download the software. Now, I've already done a teardown of this device and it's very simple. So I won't be putting that in this video. We're just going to skip forward on that. So once you've taken off the top two layers, all the screws, all the pins, you're going to have the board like this. From here, we're going to switch over to the PC. Okay, so once you're on your PC, you're going to want to head over to RetroArcadeCrafts.com. I will have the link for this in the description down below so you guys don't actually have to type it. What this update will allow you to do is have the SOCD standard that Capcom wants you to use, which is the neutral SOCD. This means that when you press up and down at the same time, you are going to be in neutral. If you press left and right at the same time, it's going to give you neutral. So once you're on this page, all you want to do is scroll down. It's going to bring you to a Google Drive link. You want to just download everything in here just press the download button up here once you have that downloaded go ahead open that up you're going to have all these files in there the software update itself let me make that bigger uh but that didn't really help did it but the software update itself and you know the guides they do give you a guide in here but i'm making this specifically because it's still a little bit iffy the app itself is in a completely different language so that's why i'm making this video so what you're going to want to do is make a new folder, just call it update, put it on your desktop, drag everything, put it in there. Once you have this, you're going to want to open up the USB upgrade. Windows protection is going to pop up because you're going to think it's a virus. Don't worry about it. It isn't run anyway. Once you have the program open, you're going to see that it's in a whole different language. I will put some text next to each of the buttons to tell you guys what they mean, but it goes connect, open file, start download, and I guess close. It translates to zero Nagisa for some reason. I just took a picture of it and let Google translate it. So I apologize if it's wrong. All right, so next thing you wanna do is you wanna bring up your B1 PC. I'm just showing you guys, you wanna put the tweezers into the seventh line uh, when it's backwards like this. So the letters are backwards. You see this little dot right here, right uh, above the C. You're gonna wanna go a little bit up and across or just count to the seventh from right to the left, count seven spaces. It should be this one, okay? It's a little hard when I'm pointing to it, but this one, right? It'll be like in the corner of the box if you, if you don't wanna count, okay? What you're gonna wanna do with those holes there, right? You're gonna wanna put the tweezers like this. You wanna want, you want your tweezers to go into the holes. Make sure it's touching the little metal, okay? Make sure the tweezers touch the little metal and you want to plug it in okay you do that as long as, long as you guys connected them to the right hole uh, you should see some green letters down here if you see it that it's green that means that you did it correctly then you're going to put open file you're going to want to find the software so i put it as update we're going to go into the update you're going to see the software here the rack c800 v2 you're going to click open on that you should see it here and it's there and then you're going to want to press the third button. It's going to do its thing. It's going to work. Once it's done, you should see this message down here below the one with the dots. You can press the button at the bottom. Okay. Close it out. And that's it. You guys are done. That's literally it. You are updated. You can unplug it. You can go into Street Fighter, test it out. You will notice that left and right holding it at the same time will give you neutral. Up and down will also give you neutral. And take the tweezers out, put it back together, and you guys are done. Any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Have a good one.